Are you making a screencast where you want to overlay some content on top of what you're working on, what you're demoing? In this video, I'm going to show you my new Mac app that I'm playing around with called Overlay Presenter. Hey, what's up? This is Paul Solt from Super Easy Apps. So this app is a slideshow creator using Markdown. Let's take a look. And it can parse some Markdown structure and automatically create different slides that you can showcase on a display. Now, currently this is designed for overlays, but it's something that I could make also just run a normal slideshow with full screen coverage. Let's take a look. So if I run the slideshow, it will take us to the slideshow. I can jump between slides and then currently to advance, I've got it hooked up so that you can just use the mouse wheel. I've got a, um, what is this? G502 Lightspeed mouse, wireless mouse from Logitech. And so I can go sort of one, one element at a time with that mouse when it's in the special rotate mode. Um, there's two different modes. There's like a free spinning mode, which is a little too fast. But in the other mode, I can advance one slide at a time. And if I hover my mouse over either the presenter view or the um, full screen notification, we will see it here. Now, you can have other apps open. So if I was to be doing a screencast about Xcode, this will always be on top of whatever I want to talk about. So if I want to talk about Xcode build and run shortcuts, I can put this on top. I can even go into full screen mode, and this is always going to be on top of whatever the full screen content is. So it's it's really cool that you can sort of run through different things. And now I can interact behind this with Xcode. If it's in the way, let's say I wanted to open up settings and I wanted to um, play with one of these settings, and this is in the way, I just click it, it will go away. Um, and as the presenter, so let's get out of full screen mode or just jump back. As a presenter, I can rerun the slideshow and just bring it back. Um, so typically I would have this on my other screen that is right here so that I can look at the, the slide and look at you so I can sort of see what's on the camera. So I put the slide next to my camera. I've got another monitor here set up so that I can see content behind the webcam. And then I can focus on this content. And so if we're back over here, we can interact with this, pull this up. If I need to bring it back, I can just always hit the run slideshow button when I'm talking to the camera. And then I can sort of run through this, go to the next thing, close this out, and talk about the next keyboard shortcut. Um, so that is the app. Uh, it probably doesn't help to be demoing it through Xcode and, instead of a standalone version, but that's it's kind of where we're at right now. I just want to just showcase it to see if um, this is interesting for anyone who's looking for something that allows them to create a, a custom presentation. Now let's talk about the, the presentations themselves. So when you run this, it's going to be parsing your markdown and there's a certain format for markdown that I'm using. Um, it's my own sort of like flavor of it, but it's mostly just general markdown. So we've got the the title slide, and then we've got headline slides. And so that's our build and run. And then if we go down, you'll see that there's a, a build and run recap. Now, what I'm doing is I've got a bunch of different settings that can take the markdown that you write. You might have some presentation notes that you want to run through, and you might want to present them differently. And so this allows you to quickly have the same content create different slide decks automatically and auto number things. So one of the things that I wanted is I wanted to create some videos where I had a numbered list of items, but I don't want to count each item myself. I just want to write them in a sort of a list form, have some structure and organization, and then automatically generate that because I've parsed the markdown. And so that's exactly what I've done here. So if I want item counts, I can just turn on this little checkbox right here, hit save, and now it will give me item counts for every single item. So all of these are items, these are all items, these are all items, and these are all items. So we've got six down here and another, what is that, five? So there should be 16. And so if we scroll through the presentation over on the right, we should see that there are 16 
issues. Now, if I need to add something new, I can do like save is um, going to be command S. And so I could copy one of these symbols, add that. And now we have an, another keyboard shortcut and it's automatically labeled as number 17. And then we can have a review slide. So there's a whole bunch of, of really cool things that you get out of this for free. Um, if I don't want the items themselves as, as headlines, we can save that and we can just focus on providing the general structure. So we've got a introduction and then we've got the actual keyboard shortcuts and stuff like that. We've got the introduction, the keyboard shortcuts or the details, the introduction, the details, introduction, uh, the details, and then the review. So that's kind of the structure of the app. And so if we want to run through this, I can just run the slideshow and I can move these over to my presentation window. And if we go all the way back to the back, to the top, I'll click on the starting slide. Now I can introduce the video topic where I'm going to do some kind of screencast and I want to have some content over top of it. The other nice thing is you can also take screenshots of these and then that gives you a little graphic that you can embed over uh, the video in, let's say, ScreenFlow. So if I have videos in ScreenFlow, I can grab that asset and I can just drag it on top um, down here into the menu, make it overlay on top of stuff. All right, so that is that is how this works. And then running through the presentation, you can just sort of advance as you're talking about it you're, you've got full access to all of the content. You can work with your different apps, and then you can just advance the slide either on the main window or over on your presenter window where you can talk through these different keyboard shortcuts or the different points that you want to deliver. Okay, so that's the app. Let's take a look at how we could create a brand new presentation. So I'm just going to cut all of this out of here. And I think if I save it, We'd have no headlines. Awesome. Um, so let's do a presentation about, um, uh, let's do um, speed work. So speed work. And this is going to be called running speed work. Uh, so let's do getting started. and then preventing injuries, and then evaluating performance. Let's talk about five different things, phases, work, tools, I use. I don't even need to say that, the tools. So that's going to be our general presentation. I'll just save it. And now we have a, a new thing. Um, and let's call this ultimate conditioning. All right, so I play ultimate Frisbee. I'll just put it here um, just for people who are uh, less aware of this. And we'll, we'll call this ultimate conditioning, like getting started, preventing injuries, evaluating performance, phases of work, and then the tools that I'm using. And so this very easily gives me the structure that I need. And um, we can turn off some of these things, hit save, and now we've got our, our slide deck sort of shaping up. And in this particular one, I might not have additional details. And so in this situation, what I would do is I would probably want the headlines to be numbered. And so these are the five different things that I, or four different things. Did it not get my last one? Um, it looks like there's some kind of glitch here that I need to figure out. For some reason, I'm missing um, the last one. So let's do extra and see if we get the fifth one. Okay. There's a bug. Um, so these are the, the five things that I want to talk about it's probably related to not having any like content here. We'll see extra here. All right, so that is the bug. It's just, it's missing the last one because there's no bullet items. Um, so that's something with my parsing. Okay, so this allows you to have some structure. 
and then you can walk through it. And then now we can go ahead, um, we can jump to the beginning and we can run our slideshow and then we can talk through these different points that we want to talk through. And so I can see my presenter view. So I've got my presenter view or I've got the editor view, which lets me sort of jump between where I am. If I, if I ever need to jump backwards, I can put that on my other monitor and it can jump right to the other slide that I might need to touch on again. So we can talk about what I've been doing. So if we start from the top, I can be looking at the camera. I can see the slides that I'm going to cover. I can see the upcoming slides and I can look like I'm actually looking at you with this tool. And then I can very easily just scroll the mouse without pressing any keys. So I'm not clicking and clacking um, to navigate to the next slide. And I can talk about each one of these different points as I'm working through them. So that is a little bit about um, the app. And I'm tentatively, I think, calling it Overlay Presenter. Um, so that's kind of the working title. I think it's pretty cool. It's, it's helpful for me for making videos. There's more customizations that I could do, um, but this is a starting point. So if you need a overlay presentation tool that allows you to do a screencast like it's live, and allows you to sort of walk through the slides, comment down below um, and I'll be having some beta testers hopefully testing this out maybe in the near future. Uh, we'll see uh, where things go. Thanks for watching and I hope you have a great day.